Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install the Android M Alpha builds for the Sony Xperia Z3. As you all know, Sony likes to um, do their thing with uh, ASOP, Android Open Source Project, and basically you can pretty much install the latest thing before it hits. So pretty much um, Sedatric, something like that, Arctic, Arctic, said Arctic, um, has built his or her. Uh, pretty much an alpha build of uh, Android M. So here's an introduction here. Um, seen his... Okay, okay. There's only some Android M stuff in here. Um, that's probably just because Android M is quite new at the moment. And this is for the 6603. I have the 6653, but we'll try this anyway. And this is for unlocked bootloaders only, of course. So that means a warranty void, and you also need to flash this. So this is not a traditional ROM where you flash through the recovery. You're going to have to flash each and every like kind of individual part to your phone via fastboot. So you're going to need the uh, flash tool drivers that come with flash tool, and they also install drivers for ADB and fastboot, as well as flash mode, which is great. So you make sure you set that up properly, and that your phone can be read in fastboot as well. So pretty much basics of installation. You're going to have to want to back up everything, and download the images um, above here and then you just want to flash flash them each like that and also flash the kernel which is also provided on this other page and yep yeah. so you would just flash that as a boot image that's fine um, and we'll do all this on the Z3 here so he's built this for the 6603 so I'm going to try it on the 53 and we'll see how it goes Alright, cool. So there are a lot of bugs at the moment, and he's provided some lovely screenshots here. But we shall have a look at that ourselves. So we're going to want to download the kernel, which opens up this tab. And we're also going to need the system and user data. These are probably the largest ones. User data, maybe. System should be at least like a few hundred megabytes. <laughs> I'm not sure, because uh, ASOP is generally quite small. Oh, big stuff. Cool. Uh, we'll just download through our browser. And same as the user data here, we're going to download through our browser as well. I'm not sure what the other one, that Megasync is, but that's probably a desktop client, and I don't have time for that. So I'm going to let these download, and of course, this is actually pretty cool, it's pretty fast. And we're just going to wait for all this to finish, but, and we're also going to download kernel right now. So, yeah, we'll flash the kernel, and then we'll flash the system, I think, and then use the data which is great. So we're going to download all three of these and we'll go through step by step on flashing this. So I'll be back when this is all finished. Okay so uh, my boot image is already finished downloading so I like to keep it organized and I hope you guys do as well. So I've created a whole string of folders here. So just to keep track of things so I'm going to put the date on that M alpha thing once I go back but just make sure you save everything where you know where it is. Where in the place where you know where it is so you'll never ever lose these things like that and another thing uh, you also need to download is of course ADB or mainly fastboot the fastboot executable and uh, I'll provide a link that to that down below and all you want to do is extract it somewhere I have it on Android tools and I have all the ADBs here and then we're gonna start flashing things so just have kinda like two windows open like this side by side and we're gonna be running we're going to be doing this uh, after our system partition has finished downloading. So yeah, um, that will be in a link, the first link. It should already be down there. And you should have ADB version 1.0.32, I believe. Yep, 3.2. That's the latest one. So yeah, so once everything is finished downloading, I'll come back once again. So now that we have everything finished downloading, uh, we're going to now install our or we'll start flashing our individual components here. So I've finished downloading the boot system and user data and we're going to flash in that order as well. And also you will you would have extracted our adb.exe, the two DLLs that come with it, and also fastboot.exe. So check that you have all those forward there and we're going to go ahead and prepare our computer side of this. So in the same folder with your mouse in an empty spot, you want to hold shift and right click and you just want to press open command window here and that will change its directory to that folder uh, quite easily. So I want to 
put this kind of in the split view you could say and we're going to move over to our device here basically if you have it plugged in you can just unplug it and turn off so your phone needs to be unplugged for this at the moment I'm doing this on 7% battery but hopefully it all will go well make sure you, I would recommend at least 50% so you can or 60 so you can actually fix up things if things go wrong and for that you'll need to hold volume up and put in the USB and you'll see the light turn blue and stay blue that is when our device is in fast boot mode so it's volume up that is and just make sure your device you know it's all installed and we're going to type in fast boot devices and we have our phone connected there on the screen and now we shall start so we're going to type in fast boot flash boot with the space on the end just drag in our image file like that and hit enter so that will flash our boot it says ok now we're going to type our second command fast boot flash system space leave a space on the end and drag in our system image and this one will probably take the longest as it is the largest so we'll wait for that to send all its information there and we'll wait okay so now that's finished we're going to be typing our last one so same as fastboot um, flash user data leave a space in the end and drag in our image file like that and just hit enter whoops perhaps it's not user data oh I spelled flash wrong that is silly I'm going to quickly correct that so flash user data this shouldn't take too long maybe a, a fifth of the time required to do the other one so this will flash and that is our last part here so hopefully our phone boots so that's finished and now we're just going to restart our phone here we don't need to touch it just type in fast boot reboot like so and our phone will restart now focusing on the phone here sorry it's a bit uh, bright got lights on hopefully there's in a way we can see it without hurting everyone so over here we have the Sony logo Android so first boot will usually take a while I have no doubt in that so your screen will look like this for a while and there might be a new startup animation looks like it looks like it's shimmering and that took absolutely no time at all which is great so here welcome so we're going to get a lot of crashes here at the moment and I'm going to adjust the exposure on the camera is that, oh sorry the white balance can't see anything like that okay so actually maybe it's just a bit too bright but anyway um, we're going to get yeah a lot of errors here I should turn off bluetooth as soon as I can oh it's off, alright whatever maybe that will sort itself out but so far we have he did say there was a screwed up build number 5.1.51 not sure if you can see that actually there we are the easter egg apparently is still lollipops so um, Sony explains that, I'll leave a link to that as well it's in that guy's post and I'm really not too sure what I can what else I can show you that's 5.1 sorry that's M I gotta think of something um, anything that's changed hmm well I'm I'm not sure I'm just wasting time here at the moment but yeah it's alright so far and it's pretty cool getting the latest one on here so I believe nothing works yes Oh, okay, so Wi-Fi works. Bluetooth share is going crazy. You could actually probably freeze it somehow through ADB shell. Uh, that might be a solution to get rid of getting rid of this uh, massive spam. Or you could try airplane mode. No, it's just power off. I want to put it on airplane mode. Let's see that if that will make these Bluetooth shares go away. Yes, yeah, so I'm actually going to adjust the white balance on this. Not white balance, exposure. 
manual. Yeah, make it really dark. So actually, it hasn't really stopped the spam. You can see the shadows um, underneath it. Wait. Yep. Okay. So that's alright. We have a consistently crashing Bluetooth chair, but that is expected. So don't get me wrong about that. That's pretty cool. Uh, so that's how you install Android M on your Sony Xperia Z3. This is probably happening because his model was the D6550, like some other model, right? And uh, mine's a D6653. So that could explain some things, but we'll leave that for there at the moment. So that is our taste of Android M so far uh, of the on the Z3. Uh, props to that guy for compiling it when no one else did. Some, I bet someone else is doing it as well. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below with plus Maldroid on it so I can definitely reply because sometimes I can't reply to comments, which is a bit silly, uh, especially if they're, they're asking questions. It's hard to find them back. So yeah, that's it for this video. hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.